In terms of the human hour saving, uh, it's a bit ironic. We've kind of come a full circle. So, you know, the promise of AI is to automate and reduce human effort in a lot of cases. Uh, but we spend a lot of time and effort on annotating data. So you said that a lot of the work going on is around the realm of uh, documentation and so on. Can you help us understand if there is a trend on business benefits that were not possible before and that are possible today? Where is the pain? A lot of companies, especially the legacy older companies, have a lot of their data information locked up in, in documents, basically. Uh, either internal memos, emails, internal emails, it can be customer complaints, uh, it can be legal documents. A lot of the information is just locked up in those documents. Uh, in particular, in the legal space, uh, we've been spending a lot of time and effort. Uh, we've actually have our own product around processing and analyzing legal documents. A lot of times, contracts, signing contracts are, are again, sitting on people's laptops uh, and folders where, you know, with, with a printed archive in a drawer. Companies, in some cases, don't even know whether all their contracts have been upheld and if they even got paid for all their contracts that they've delivered. You know, there's lots and lots of use cases around that that space that we've been working on, especially in you know, another common use case that we see is with uh, regulation changes, especially things like GDPR, uh, LIBOR changes in the, for the banks. Companies have to go back and, and renegotiate in some cases or just reissue uh, thousands of contracts, potentially. Going through them and understanding which ones need to be changed, which ones need to be amended and how is a huge undertaking that we've been uh, tackling with NLP. It's quite successfully for the most part. You know, it's the kind of automation, it's the kind of organization that wasn't possible before just because humans get distracted, if you will. So, so in, you know, in some cases we see undertakings, okay, we need to organize all, you know, all these documents that we have. We've tried this before and every time, you know, you get through 80, 90% of the work uh, and then uh, other things become more important uh, and it never gets completed properly and never gets rolled out properly. Now with automation around NLP, this is becoming possible. Can you speak about the difference between looking at data and just knowing what I have with respect to instead utilizing the machine learning to improve processes where human beings are connected? Let me just try to unpack that a little bit. So, so even when uh, we're talking about things like organizing your inventory of documents and, and contracts, uh, that's in the, in, in the service of improving your processes making things more efficient and ultimately saving uh, human effort down the line. So, you know, even something like that, we're not, we don't do that for its own sake. In terms of the human hour saving, uh, it's a bit ironic. I find uh, we've kind of come a full circle. So, you know, the promise of AI is to automate and, and reduce human effort in a lot of cases. Uh, but we spend a lot of time and effort on annotating data. Now the humans, instead of doing the jobs, uh, they're creating the data to train the machines to do the jobs that they would have done otherwise. <laughs> that being said, uh, yeah, there's absolutely huge, huge time savings that we see. Uh, in the case of uh, something like contract negotiations, we've, been, we've seen uh, 60 to 70% uh, reduction of human effort in terms of the number of hours required to deliver the full renegotiation of contracts. Uh, you know, again, I'm talking about thousands of contracts that need to be addressed and amended. In the case of, you know, you mentioned chatbots before, uh, typical uh, reductions that we see there is taking a call center with uh, 250, 300 people, uh, reducing that to 50 or 60 people with the chatbots addressing sort of 60 to 70 percent of the most common use cases uh, and then humans taking on the more uh, challenging ones. So, so there's absolutely huge uh, reductions in effort. You know, that always brings up the question of, uh, are the machines going to take my job away? You know, I think uh, to that, to some degree, the answer is yes, but it's also creating a lot of jobs. Uh, if you look over the la just over the last five years, already we've seen uh, AIs taking over uh, certain jobs, and yet we keep seeing more and more and new kinds of jobs coming up that are related to uh, AI and machine vision uh, and the machine learning. We live in a world where there's constant pace of change, and, and we're seeing that in the job market as well.